Right here we have our full complete paint decontamination package. So the decontamination step of the detailing process is designed to remove any contaminants in the paints, any waxes, sealants, anything like that that either came from the factory or from the previous owner before you get into paint correcting or applying any type of protection. The reason it's important to do a decon wash is because if you're gonna start polishing the paint, if there's any particulates or anything that's stuck on the paint, when you go to polish, it's gonna clog up your pad, it's gonna make it difficult, you're gonna be chasing scratches. Additionally, if you're gonna apply protection after the decon wash, it's important because you wanna have an absolutely bare surface on the paint that's ready to accept your new protection for years to come. So let's first talk about the chemicals that we included in this kit. The main chemical in this whole kit is Obsessed Garage's decon wash. Uh, so this is a soap you'll actually use that you'll replace your traditional soap like a GSF or a reset for the wash. It's slightly more aggressive. It foams really, really well. It's actually a pleasure to use, but it'll work to strip away any of those waxes, sealants, protections, anything like that. The second chemical we included is an APC. So this is a slightly more aggressive chemical than a decon wash soap. Uh, and we decided to include it for those stubborn areas like engine bays, fender wells, door jams, just weird spots where you you need a little bit more power. That being said, I would recommend you dilute this to like a one to 10 ratio if you're going to be using it on your paint. Next is Iron Buster. So we use this to remove iron from the paint. This is our chemical decontamination. You'll actually see if you spray this on your paint or on your wheels that it turns purple uh, when there's iron particles and you can see it melting off of the paint. Then we have McKees. So this is our slip solution that we'll use in our mechanical decontamination step in conjunction with the clay bar or with the clay mitt. And lastly, we have Tar X that does exactly like it sounds. It removes tar. So sometimes on your rocker panels or on the lower parts of the car, even the bumper, you find little bits of tar from either your tires or other people's. And this does really good to remove all of that and get you that nice bare paint that we're looking for. So moving on to the tools that we decided to include, the first thing is the Solo 260 battery powered sprayer. Now when you're doing a decon wash and it comes to that mechanical decontamination step or the clay bar, or clay mitt, you're gonna be using a lot of slip solution. Now you could use a traditional spray bottle, but after you get done with the whole car, you'll find that your wrist or your trigger finger gets really, really sore, really, really tired. And that's where this battery powered sprayer comes in. It lasts for a very long time, it atomizes really well, and it flows really well. So you won't have to stress your wrist or your fingers out while you're going through the whole car. Talking about mechanical decontamination, we actually have two options here. So we have our ultra clay scrubber from the Rag Company. This this is our clay sponge. Uh, it's a more mild clay compared to something like the Kosh Kimmy's clay bar, uh, which is a little bit more aggressive. It's uh, more malleable so you can get into tight spaces, but it will mar up the paint ever so slightly more. Lastly, we have the large synthetic brush from the Detail Factory. Uh, this is really good for cleaning emblems. It's good in the engine bay. It's good on really just any tight spots on the car where you need a little bit more precision and the mitt isn't just cutting it. Talking about mitts, we decided to include the Incredi Mitt from Microfiber Madness. The reason we decided to go with a mitt instead of the Incredi Pad that we like so much is because you're gonna be getting into the really tight areas, cleaning underneath things, and really just working it in a lot. So it's a good idea to have the mitt, that way you know you're not gonna drop this on the ground. Additionally, I like the idea of having a totally separate wash mitt for decon washes. Traditionally, a decon wash is a lot dirtier than a regular maintenance wash. We also included the drying towel 3.0. So this is a really big gauntlet style drying towel for, again, drying the paint. Uh, when you're doing a decon wash, obviously there's gonna be no protection on the paint and you can't use a drying aid. So it's a good idea to have a dedicated towel just for drying it. So there you have it, that's the full decon package. Obviously you might have some of the individual pieces in this, so it might not make sense to buy the whole thing, but you can use this as a shopping list or our recommendations for the decontamination process. If you have any questions, obviously let us know down in the comments or reach out to us at support at Obsessed Garage and we'd be happy to answer any of them.